Good morning. Guess what? It snowed overnight. <laughs> Crazy, huh? Yeah, it did. It snowed I overnight. I saw that. But it was light. It was light? Well, when oh, it light snow. I thought you meant it was light out. No, no. When I cleaned up <laughs> like, my really? car this morning, it was yes. very light snow. My husband, Jim, goes out and cleans my car for me while I'm drying my hair in the morning. How sweet is that man? Seriously. Uh-huh. You need to get yourself one of those. Mine was under the covers when I left. <laughs> my snowblower didn't work Ooh, yesterday. Okay. I was so grumpy, you guys. I was so angry. Still is. <laughs> I'm dumb bitter about it. He's bitter. I'm too old to shovel. I, I know that other people would say there are probably 80-year-olds, 90-year-olds out there who are shoveling. And it's good for you because I shovel. It's not good for me. It puts me in a horrible mental state. Does it? Shovel. Any kind of any kind of manual labor makes me grumpy, me to too. be honest. Me too. If I sweat, I get ticked right off. Well, I and mean, it was just oh, the yeah. circumstances surrounding how the snowblower got left outside made me unhappy too. Oh yeah, that'll do it. I don't think he's that watching. That was subtle. I don't think he's watching this morning. He's You're ready hoping for, he's not watching for, for, this morning. The movie. The movie. Hey, you know what? Today's a big day. Today's a big day at On TV. We want to explain to you why today is such a big day. If you wouldn't mind, just take a look at this. So exhausted after doing that workout there. <laughs> 200 shows, my friend. God bless you for hanging in there with me. <laughs> what was with the dogs and the cats? I don't know. Maybe because it's Michael saying because we have dogs and cats on the show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> 200. 200. That means over a couple hundred. 400 guests. Yeah. More you, uh, sometimes because yeah. sometimes there's more than two yeah. guests. Yeah. But a sometimes lot of some don't show up. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, when it snows like it did yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Yesterday. Uh, so that's thank like, you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. We certainly appreciate it. Bye. 200 shows. <laughs> we're done now. That's so all we had awesome. in us. We only no, had two. no, no. We're all good. We got two, <clears throat> 300 more. So we have another. This, we're coming up on one year in April. Yeah. April so that is going to be like 250 guests by the time we yeah. actually hit our first year anniversary probably. I think we more. went to air in May. Wow. May 22nd. What a whirlwind it's been. It has, right? Just so amazing. This is your first winter as a personality, television <laughs> personality. You've always been a personality. Uh, a television personality who has to get up in the middle of the night. How have you done this for 35 years? I have no idea. I know, because you're nuts. Yeah. Happy National Pistachio Day, you nut. Oh, gosh, I love pistachios, Do you? Too. I love pistachios. Ah, if you want to give me a treat for Christmas in my stocking, please put them in a baggie. But those shelled ones with lot, lots of salt, I don't even have to shell them. Are they green oh, or pink? I, I always get green. mixed up. What color are pistachios? Green. What's the red? Is that the shell on the outside, green on the inside? <gasps> I think they are. I think I they're think dyed. I'm, why do I they die? They why, why would someone die a pistachio? Because if, have you ever eaten a lot of those and your lips are red afterwards? After you crunch all those So you think it's shells? a dye? I believe it's a dye. Why would they do that? Well, why would, how would you grow a red pistachio? How do you grow a green pea? I don't know. How are, why do things have colors? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. If anybody, you know, let us I know. I hate when we have these questions that no one has answers right? to. And there should be somebody, there should be a thing where you can, you. A Googler. Can you please let us know? Yeah, because we need to know. Are, are the pistachios, the red pistachios, are they grown 
red. Red, or is it food coloring or And dye? then what's on the inside? It's green. It's green. And that's the part you like. I like the nuts. Salty. Yes, salty. Yeah, already shells. I don't want to deal with the shells. No, <laughs> no. It's hard on the teeth. I'm getting old. Yeah, yeah. So, um, how do you, and you just eat them like that? Yeah, yeah. What about like pistachio ice nuts. cream? You like pistachio love ice cream? Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to make you. What? Pistachio ice cream. What? I've made it before. Stop it. I have you have not. Mm hmm you made Keith loves pistachios too. Oh, you I love pistachios. You can make pistachio ice cream. Well, I knew you could, but... Uh, you want me to make you some? Yes. Okay, then. Next Christmas. Really? <laughs> Next Christmas. I was going to go, oh, tomorrow morning. Yay. Not so much, huh? It's also Tell a Fairy Tale Day. Tell a Fairy Tale <clears throat> Day. Yes, once upon dear a time. Dear Tim. That, that's Dear Tim. That's a letter. That's a Dear John letter. That's a Dear, dear Fairy once Tale. Once upon a time. There you go. You're right. They don't always have to start with Once Upon a Time, apparently. But they must have a happy ending. Well, you know what, though? If they all started with Once Upon a oh, Time... Look, there's a thing. Like See, National Tell a Fairy Tale Day. But imagine if every one of them had to start with Once Upon a Time. Kids would be like, yada, yada, yada. Did you ever play that game where you go, Once Upon a Time, there was a thing, and then you have to do the next sentence and you create a fairy tale back and forth? No. no it's fun. It's a fun game to play. Um, we never play that in Espanola. Well, you haven't hung around enough fairies. Listen... <laughs> I have now. <laughs> um, you know, 200 episodes worth. In 1616, on this date. I remember. Go ahead and tell them. Luann had a birthday party. <laughs> no. Um, the Roman Inquisition. Mm -hmm. They demanded, demanded that Galileo abandon heliocentrism, which is the, 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 the thing that the Earth and the planets revolve around the sun. Because oh. Galileo said... No, the sun doesn't revolve around the earth. The earth revolves around the sun. And the religious fanatics, the Roman Inquisition, said no. I wonder really? how he figured that out. I there were no instruments like they have today. Didn't he create things? Didn't Galileo create things? I, I thought I he created know. a telescope. Didn't oh, Galileo maybe. create the telescope? He I'm must not have. Sixteen hundreds. Just goes to show you. There he is, right there, Galileo. He look, doesn't look bad for a guy who's Galley, four, You're looking good, buddy. Thousand years old. Yeah, not bad. Is it four hundred? So no, four hundred years old. <laughs> uh, if you think about it, though, isn't it crazy that that was sixteen sixteen, and here we are in two thousand and nineteen? And religion is still trying to tell us not to pay attention to science. <laughs> How long has that far in your curriculum? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you found that piece of information. Just so you could work that in. I'm a little bitter today, apparently. Apparently. What's going on with I don't, and I got it, I can't wait to find out what's going on with autism. Oh <gasps> boy, they are gonna get Oh, people are not, this is mm -hmm. not good. I mean, and you know what? There are rumors now that some parents who have over the last while since Mr. Ford has been in the position he's in, that they have tried to access services and they've been told there's a freeze or it's the, the list is full or, so they've been turned away Did already. Did you see that member of parliament get booted up yesterday? Oh, uh, NDP, I forget her name, she stood up and she said in Parliament that they lied. She called them liars. She said, you lied. She, you froze the waitlist and you didn't tell people, you're liars. Ooh. They kicked her out. They said, take that back. She said, I won't take it back. We have evidence. We have reports. We have, we have emails. We have correspondence. It's not a lie. I will not take it back. Leave. They kicked out of the chamber. Wow. And so when that happens, who kicks them out? Is it the house leader? No, the lady. The like, there's. They have gu the guards. Yes, the armed. But guards. they don't look very. They don't look very dangerous. No. It's like a, no. You know, a, a gray, silver-haired lady came over. She was with the yeah, one of the guards, um, sergeant yeah. at arms or whatever. Sergeant at arms. Yeah, came and they. She just and she was waving her paper, saying, "I have the stuff right here." And they walked her out and she Good handed the paper her. over to someone like a recorder or whatever, and out she went. And she refused to take back her. Her accusation. accusation that they lied. I know, it got very, very tense. Yes, and then the whole health system is changing today. He wants to make a whole one organization to include a whole bunch of other um, agencies, like the Lins that yeah, he we wants had to change all that. E, on, e Ontario and the uh, Ontario Cancer, and that's in the news coming up, by the way. Oh, so. do you? Okay, so there's. Yeah. I'm going to have to watch that. Yeah, for a change. Um, on the lighter side of things. Yes. With the TV show The Voice. Yes, I think it might have debuted last night. Oh, I didn't. I didn't watch it. Um, I was watching Roma. 
This is another thing that's put me in a bad mood. No one told me that it was, I mean, I knew it was subtitles. Yeah. Okay? It's an art film. It, 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 it's shot in black and white. It's, a, right. it's an art film. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of art films. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. In art films, nothing happens. It's like, okay, there's... It's about a maid. It's about a maid. And the, and the, and the father goes off and runs away and leaves the family. And the, but that's really, really subtle. It, and then she ends up with this kind of guy who's involved in some sort of a, an overthrowing the government kind of thing, I think. I think. And then um, he gets her pregnant, but he wants nothing to do with her. And then she loses her baby, and it's very, very sad. Oh, I've just spoiled the whole movie for you. But guess what? That's it. The movie ended, I was like, what are you talking about? We just this was like a day in a life. This was like I, I what happened? So but most movies are right. I don't know. I a um, story. I was disengaged. Well then, that's and that's you what, had to read the subtitle. It was beautifully filmed. A lot, a lot of talking or reading. Anyway, so the voice was on, and John Legend is now on the voice. Yes, isn't that awesome for them? It is awesome for them. But I tell you, I'm going to miss my Jennifer Holiday. Yes, Jennifer Hudson, rather. Jennifer sorry, Holiday. Jennifer Holiday was the first one who did. Yes, the other. She's awesome. Too. They're both awesome. Yeah. But anyway, um, New Blood yeah. is good. I'm going to check it out. We have so much coming up on the show. We do. Oh, oh my goodness! I have interviews with <gasps> really cool Nogda Windeman, alternative uh, parenting care. Very, very interesting segment coming right up. Followed by uh, Easter Seals. They have a new campaign coming out this year. Uh, Change for Change, I think it's called. So stay with us. And Luann has the news on mornings with Luann and Tim. back live on a sunny Tuesday morning. Isn't it beautiful out there? It is. This is my my new friend Heather and Sandra is here as well. Hello Sandra and Heather Hello. from Nogdewin Family and Community Services. Yes. Uh, we're here talking about alternative care, alternative care parenting. Correct. Is that correct? Yes, That's alternative care, yeah. We prefer that term over foster parenting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, why do we use that term instead of fostering? Is it just a, a... Well, the agency has been using that for since our, we received our license, the alternative care. Yeah. So oh, okay. It's just another oh, way... Oh, it's actually like a license, alternative care license. Yes. Oh, yeah. so we're yeah, licensed we're under licensed. the ministry. So the, it's just another term, analogy for foster care. I get you. Okay. Very interesting. Now, so I have some... What, let's talk about some misconceptions about getting involved in being an alternative care parent. Um, some people might think that you have to go through a rigorous sort of uh, um, process of trying to find out whether you qualify. If someone has a curious curiosity or wants to know a little bit more, are there ways that you could be um, sort of eased into being an alternative care parent rather than jumping in feet first? How does this work for somebody? Sure. So let's talk about the process a little bit first okay. and then I can kind of walk through those steps. So Thank you. the process, you're going to call the 1-800 number and you're oh. going to talk to um, our intake department where they're going to do a little screen on you and they're going to ask um, for your general information. At that point, it's going to be sent over to al our alternative care recruiter who does do um, an assessment on the family. Okay. So there is that process, but the way we try to look at it is that when you are, um, if you were, if you had your own kids and you wanted somebody to watch them, you would want to make sure that they were safe and positive people, right? Yes. So that's part of our screening process. We do look for criminal background checks, medicals, references, different things like that. Um, questionnaires are asked and interviews are completed. Once that process is done, there are different options to alternative care. So you can look at doing respite services, which is short term over the weekend, and it's giving our um, long-term parents more of a break. Oh, so you have different levels of care right. that are available for mm -hmm. people who are interested. Mm -hmm. uh, did you mention, I think you said there's are there three levels, is that it? That's right. So okay. there's respite, mm -hmm. which is, like I said, the short term, giving the longer term parents a break. Mm -hmm. There's emergency care. So if children come in um, in the middle of the night or um, after hours and we need a place for them to go right away, those families open their doors and welcome the kids in for a short term just until we can get a longer term placement set up and then there's the long term care or customary care which is where um, the child could go could be with the family for a month or a little longer depending on 
what the situation is. Now, long-term care, um, Sandra, there's no real determination of how long a, a child will stay with a, an alternative care parent, really. It's case by case, is that true? It's case by case. And, and what is the final, what is the goal of this? What, what are we trying to do while we have these children with alternative care parents? What's going on in the meantime? Well, the goal of Now de Windeman is to really uh, try to do customary care with our families. Uh, and customary care really opens the door for the parents at some point to be able to come back and take their children back into their care. So that's always the ultimate goal for Nog de Windeman. So the ultimate goal is to give a family a chance to, yeah. to get back on their feet. They might have hit some bumps in the road yeah. and they need a little bit of assistance. They yeah. need some time to get their stuff in order yeah. to make it the best possible home for a child to grow up in. Right. So while that is happening, we're looking for people who have a caring home who can take a child in and continue to raise that child mm -hmm. in the absence of their parents until their parents can take mm -hmm. them back again, right? That's right. the goal. Right. Yeah, because yes. we're always looking at reunification. That's the goal. It's family reunification yeah. is the final goal of, in all of this. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now, so are there resources available while a child is in your home? Because I personally would think, ooh, Gosh, I don't know that much about parenting. I mean, I have a, a I have an income. I have a safe home. Um, my hours are good. I could, you know, there's two of us. But I don't know about whether or not this is right for me. I might be nervous about who do I talk to if I have a problem, or is there anybody around mm -hmm. me to talk to, or what kind of resources are available through Nog de Windeman? Absolutely. So we have a ton of um, resources. So once you're approved, like okay. we talked about, after that process I go is complete, the process, yes. I get checked. Yep. Once I'm you're approved, good. you will be assigned an alternative care worker. So that worker is for you. So you can call that worker. They do monthly visits. They check in with you. They make sure that everything's okay. Oh. And then we have other resources because we're a multi-service agency. So we're a child welfare agency, but we also have mental health services, children's mental health. And that also is for our alternative care family. We also um, offer interventions, so if there's um, behaviors in the home or anything that they need extra support with, intervention comes in and helps support that. We have our cultural service team, which is very large Ooh. and very um, the core of our agency, so they're very involved in all of our alternative care families' lives. Um, and we also have our neonatal program. Wow. So there's a lot of resources, and we mm -hmm. have um, an appreciation every year to just give back, let them know how appreciated they are. Oh, Sandra was telling me about the last yeah. year. Did you have over 300, about 350? We had 325 people registered. 325 people yeah. registered to yeah. as, and that's your way of saying thank you. That's right. To it's, all it's, the it's really caregivers. it's really for them and you know it's a it's a place for them to gather to be able to kind of communicate with one another and meet new people. Mm -hmm. We have giveaways, we have guest speakers. Uh, we have activities for the children. Uh, they get to come and spend the weekend at get a hotel here in uh, Sault Ste. Marie. Oh. We had it at the Delta because the Delta was one of the ones that could host us. Yes. Because it's it's a huge affair. <laughs> yeah, it's yes. a big event. It is. And you've also done some stuff where you've had outings for families that are, are that are mm -hmm. alternative caregivers. I think you mentioned Great Wolf Lodge was an outing yeah. for about 80 of them to go down. Yeah. Fantastic. But even on a smaller scale, mm -hmm. um, just to get together and, and debrief to talk, um, you have some meetings that are... Once a month. Once yeah, a month. So um, we have an alternative care support group, mm -hmm. and that's where we invite all of our alternative care parents to come out and just debrief, talk. We offer, um, we partner with the cultural services team a lot, and they come in and help lead that. Um, we do traditional cooking, we've done crafts, oh. we've done lots of different things, and it's just a time just for them so they can really talk about what's been going on in their life, what works, what hasn't worked, and where they could use some extra support. So obviously, I'm non-Indigenous. Do you ha Are you reaching out to non-Indigenous families as well? Because this is why you have the cultural support, right? Yes. So okay. we're reaching out to all types of families. All types of families. We just really encourage that cultural connection, right? So you need to be open and willing to learn and explore the cultural aspect. I would think that would be a really great way to learn more about the First Nations culture mm -hmm. uh, and the cultures, because there are multiple, uh, languages, um, traditions, uh, mm -hmm. prayers, uh, uh, um, all those kinds of things that you that mm -hmm. are part of your culture that we wouldn't know about we have a chance to learn through the kids and with the kids right yes yes so and we have naming ceremonies <sighs> and uh you know the the children will receive their colors uh the children are made ribbon shirts uh, for the males and skirts for the for the girls mm -hmm. uh family is always invited into that that ceremony as well wow so they're a part of it for more information or to to actually find out if you can become an alternative mm -hmm. care parent we have a 1-800 number 
And I believe it's on, it is, it's on the screen right now. There's Perfect. a toll free number on the screen mm -hmm. to call Nog Dwindam. And also, I would imagine Google search would be fine. Oh, yeah. That would Absolutely. lead you to a web page. Yeah, we have be. a web page. Yes. And Nog Dwindam is N O G D A W I N D A M I N. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. <laughs> yeah, and it's www.nog.ca. That makes yep. it way easier. Way easier. Yeah. yeah. Our time is up. Perfect. See how fast eight minutes goes? <laughs> yeah. I want to thank you very oh, much for being you. here. And please know thank that you. you're always welcome to come back on the show for any of the pro you have so many programs at NOG. Yeah. yeah, we'll pass on the information. I was thinking it would be really great for our neonatal program to come yes. and different things like that. So. Anytime. Our door is always well, open because you. you do amazing work in the community. It's hard. <laughs> it, yeah, it is hard work, but I'm sure it's also very um, uh, positive. Po yeah, it yeah. makes you feel good, too. Yeah. You're making a difference in people's <laughs> lives. Okay, listen, we'll be back with Luann uh, on Mornings with Luann and Tim. I have to bring her on the show, too. <laughs> Luann. She, she insists on coming on with me. So uh, we'll be back, but thanks again to Heather and Sandra for being here from Nog to Windeman. And please consider becoming an alternative care parent. We'll see you after this break. I, I don't feel like eight minutes is enough to get all the information right? in. Yeah. I forgot to bring up one important thing when I was talking to the ladies from Nog de Windeman. For alternative care parents, there is a per diem that so you are assisted right. financially for having a child in your home, in your care, mm -hmm. but it can never be considered a revenue source. Right. It's not You're not going to make about. a living doing You're not going to make a living taking kids in. That's not what this is about. All right. So just so you understand, the re part of the resources available are uh, a per diem. Yes. But it's only to help with the expenses of having the child in your home. What that a was great, a great uh, segment. It is a really yeah. cool thing. Isn't that awesome? Hey, I have to tell you a couple what? of things. Yeah, go. Pistachios. What did you look up? The producers actually used to dye them red to hide the imperfections. Thank you, Kevin. And my, my cousin, Nikki... Is watching the show and just messaged me happy 200 shows. Somebody's watching us. That's that's seven. That's seven think, now. No, I think we we're at eight because remember that the vet, <laughs> Mr. Oh, the McDonald, vet. Well, and his right, daughter yeah, in yeah. Indiana and his son in Winnipeg. I think that I think Do we're animals at eight. count. Let's count the animals too. We're at ten. I have three dogs. <laughs> we're at eleven. Wow. Thanks, Nick. Hey, your cousin Nick. Yes. Um, I have another draw. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. I thought the suspense would kill you. <laughs> that was very good. It was good, wasn't it? Uh, this is Shadows of the Mind Film Festival. How many years is this for them now? Gosh. Is, 16th? No. Is it really? I don't even know. Anyway, it's been a long time. It has. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been a long time. It's in the interview <laughs> that I did with Bill McPherson. Anyway. They gave us tickets to give away, and yesterday Mike Gaetano won two tickets, uh, and that's for any of the 20, what, 27 internationally acclaimed award-winning films. I wonder if Roma is one of them. Anyway, um, we have two more tickets to give away, and today's lucky winner is Gary Smith. Congratulations, Gary. You have won two tickets to, for the Shadows of the Mind Film Festival, which runs right through until the 20th. Oh. I don't even know how long. 20. I don't have any information. The Shadows of the Mind. There it is. Look at. When does it go till? March the 3rd. 1st. I can't read. Is that 1st? 3rd. Go and see the films. <laughs> go. There's lots of movies playing. Go you'll, see them. You'll see Mike Gaetano and Gary Smith there, and they're going to be happy. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they're gonna go. Hopefully they know where and when. And oh, it's how. everywhere. Oh, it's, it's at the everywhere. Galaxy. It's at the Grand. It's not here. <laughs> it's not, it's everywhere. not everywhere. Okay. Okay. Art Hold Kelly. Up. He's in big trouble. Whoa, buddy! Finally, yeah, made bail though. How much did they charge him for bail? A million dollars. So and far, so he could you can go and have intercourse with a whole bunch of 14 year olds and pay a million bucks and walk the streets again. Apparently some of the videos that his lawyer claimed very late yesterday that they did not exist, apparently the videos indicate um, 14 year old girls and it's very obvious in the video they talk about that the, the girl is 14 years old. They discuss it. 
they discuss it. Yeah, so I, you know, I don't. She calls him daddy. And yeah, so he's facing 10 criminal counts of aggravated sexual abuse. Mm-hmm. How does a 14-year-old girl end up with someone because, like that? He, he's a predator. He I understand, but yeah. where's the mom and dad? If my kid was hanging out with some dude who's like a rapper dude and is 108 years old and my daughter's 14, I think I would at one point say, okay, you know what, honey? You need to back away from him. I have two words for you. Michael Jackson. It happens. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> telling you Donald Trump uh, anyway uh, yeah. yeah but Donald Trump's not kids at least that's not that's not the rumor the rumor is that he hung around with Epstein and all those guys in that the circle of, of young. really uh-huh and I think there was a story of a 16 year old somewhere in the rumor mill so he's not just into Russian golden showers then oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and the way I will have the news after this break stay so, tuned <laughs> much more ahead Welcome back to Mornings with Luann and Tim. You know what? I, I never love, know. I love nothing better than a romantic love story. Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom. Katy was on Jimmy Kimmel last night and okay. talked about how he proposed to her. Oh, my word. Oh, I want to be Katy Perry just for a minute. Well, you can't sing, so you're very much like Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how did he propose and to ouch. her? How did he propose to well, her? He took her up for a helicopter ride after dinner. Oh, yeah. As and so then many he of us passed often her, do. As he passed her notes, talking about why he loved her so much, all the different oh, things that he loved so much about her. Because it's so loud in there, he had to write these things down. He wrote them then down. apparently he was having trouble because the ring is so darned big. Shocks. He was having trouble getting out of it, getting it out of his jacket, and he ripped his jacket. I don't know if you've seen the ring. It's stunning. It's mm -hmm. just beautiful. And then she said they landed on a rooftop where all of her family and friends were waiting for them. They're showing a close-up of the ring. I can't Isn't see it Isn't that here, gorgeous? It, her Such family and friends were standing by on the landing pad? No, they were on a roof where That's he what I mean, landed. When he, yeah, so her family and friends were standing yes. there. Yes, just, waiting. Don't tell me no. It's funny. You just... <laughs> It would tell me no. So they landed. No. <laughs> so they landed in the helicopter. And her and friends and family oh, were there. Waving. That's, That's lovely. Said. It is lovely. Yes, except if you have a lot of money invested in a hairdo. And oh. then the helicopter comes and it's just like whoo. And That's also now funny. Orlando has to take his coat in and have the pockets sewn up because his five million dollar diamond ripped his coat. Or he could not wear clothes, which he tends to do anyway. So when, only when he paddles a wake, a wakeboard. Wake, wake, wake board. Uh, I have a question. Did she, is it a standard thing that they go for dinner in helicopter rides? Like, did she not kind of think something might be up when he said, let's go for dinner in a helicopter ride? Or is that just like Well, when Friday I was talking to her, I didn't think to ask her about that, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Any know. other questions, Have you ever gone? Tim? <laughs> have you ever gone? <laughs> Anything else you need to know, Tim? And thanks for the pistachio tip. <laughs> Don't have you ever been thing. in a helicopter? Uh, no, I haven't. Me neither. I'd love to do it. They, we from, could do the show from okay, there. So from Sioux, Michigan, they offer helicopter rides. Do they? And I think at one time, did we have them here? Or there was one time, was it Bon Sioux? I know or there's someone? airplane rides So here. at one, I would like someone who's off or, uh, organizing a festival to please bring a helicopter ride to us. So that we can learn, so that Luann and I can fly over the Sioux Locks. Mm -hmm. 
Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be we awesome? Could, like, rah, dive could bomb land. some boats. We don't want it to land on the roof, though, because that could be. I'd like to land on a, a ship. Did I ever tell you about that Oprah Winfrey that she had a, a she rented a yacht? Oh, it wasn't a yacht. It was like a, she rented. Well, a, she rented a cruise ship, an ocean, a, an ocean liner, and uh, and it had its own helicopter and helicopter yes. pad. Yes, yeah, St. yeah. Because so she, she had to come in and out. Yeah, so you while know. she was on vacation in St. Martin, she might have to fly away for well, business. Well, so. we could Imagine do that. Having that. We're kind as big as Opie. Oh. Absolutely. Oh, oh, who calls her Opie? I do. We're friends, you know. We're like her this. and I. This yeah. is Oprah. Gail Schmale. <laughs> um, yeah. Oprah. Change for change. Change for change. Easter seals. Interesting. So that means you're going to change this shirt. <laughs> Which someone called orange. I think it's tangerine. Uh, <laughs> I think it's bright. That's my fairy tale. <laughs> Stay tuned for the Easter seals campaign. Change for change on. Mornings with her and me, right after this. You know, when I wake up grumpy and then I come into work and I'm happier, it means I like my job and I like my guests. Hello, guests. <laughs> Hello. Angie, you make me happy. Oh, you're this welcome. This is Angie DiGasparo. She's been on the show before. And this is Laura Newman. Welcome to the show, Laura. Thank you. You're the branch manager at Cambria Mall. I am. For TD. For TD. It's called TD Canada Trust? Yes. Still. And we were <laughs> remarking how remarkably useful you are for a, a bank manager thank you you're not I try yeah you look like you just came out of college or something no I know you tricked us I did um, are you from the Sioux originally no I'm not I'm from Sudbury are you I am and when, how long have you lived here uh, seven years did you come here because of the position I did excellent are you like it Sault Ste. Marie I love Sault Ste. Marie and TD does amazing things in the community I, we do we try hard that's why Angie's been here many times because TD does so many things yes we like to be part of the community and get involved and see where we can help and you have a direct connection personally to Easter Seals is that right yes well okay. I'm a Rotarian oh you're a Rotarian and I'm actually the chair of the Easter Seals telethon there we go yes hey which Rotary Club are you downtown Rotary downtown Rotary yeah it's a very busy club but here's what I didn't know until you pointed this out to me Easter Seals no longer really has a, like a branch office in Sault Ste. Marie per se, right? Yeah, no, we did lose that in the early 2000s and uh, like our actual board got moved out of town out of and town. centralized, which is why Rotary took over the Easter Seals portion. So the Rotary office is split into Rotary and Easter Seals. Thank God for Carolyn O'Connor because she just keeps everybody. Carolyn yeah. Bunting O'Connor. Yes, yeah, a she's a savior. She's been she's been doing this yeah. for wow, long time. That she and the parade. I mean, that's Carolyn's baby too, isn't yep. it? Wow, Rotary. Uh, but what I was going to say was, it speaks a lot to you and to the Rotarians for the fact that many of us probably didn't even recognize that Easter Seals and their board left our community because you yeah. picked up the picked up the slack. And Rotary, their whole mandate is is children, children disabled, disadvantaged. Um, that's kind of their mandate. You know, they do support Thrive, which is a similar. They work hand hand in hand. So when Easter Seals was going to lose right. their their board and and all of their connections in the Sioux, they really stepped in. Wow. And that's where Change for Change came up. It actually started out as Penny Power in 2002. 2002? Yep. What year is that? 17 years ago? 17 years we've been doing it. Yeah. So Change for Change, how long, Laura, has Change for Change been around now? Is this is this the new name this year, newly branded this year? Or? No, Change for Change switched when we uh, decommissioned the Penny. Oh. Yes. Poor Penny. So, poor Penny. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that would have been, what? Seven years ago, yeah, yeah. it was the I year I came. The year you came. Yeah, yeah. You've been. You were the change for change. I Laura was the Newman. change for change. Exactly. <laughs> How are you involved with change for change? What do you? What is your position in the campaign? What, what role do you play? Um, Angie makes me come and help. <laughs> <laughs> she 
got voluntold. <laughs> she got voluntold. Uh, no, actually, I'm very proud to uh, be part of it. TD sponsors the event. Uh, okay. We actually host this Saturday uh, the rolling of the coin in the branch, and we gather all of the coins and uh, roll them up and Does get them in tally. Your staff that with you? All of our staff. That's the other thing that you people do with TD is your volunteers come out like, did you do the ABCD thing again? The, the, we did. The, yes. Olymp the Winter Olympics? Yep. yep. You guys are a major sponsor of that too, and you send your your you don't send your send staff volunteers outside. to stand outside and work with the <laughs> youth. Yeah, you do so many things like that. That's great. Yeah. So they are actually going to roll the coins. We're gonna roll Where do the, the coins. coins come from that are part of Change for Change? So Change for Change at Petty Power, what how it all evolved is it involves the the schools. So okay. both school boards are involved. Uh, we, you know, there's about 20 schools that we know of that are going to be part of uh, this year. Posters up right now, just yeah. so you know. Take a look at that while Angie mm -hmm. talks. Go ahead. So about 20 schools. So what happens is there's a challenge in the school for the the class that raises the most money, just bringing change in. So by classroom. By classroom. So okay. that classroom will actually win a pizza. Some, we're going to roll some yeah. pictures through as a you continue to talk. Lunch, uh, on for for their efforts, but there's also a challenge. Uh, hey, is that Benny? Schools. <laughs> Benny. Yes, that Hi, Benny. Benny, my buddy. Yeah, he's great. He's amazing. Yeah, hopefully he's going to show up again. He usually does. So the classroom gets pizza. Yeah, the for winning classroom. The winning classroom who gets the most donation yep. brings in the most change. And then the school that wins overall for yes. the most raised actually gets a gift card for um, that they can use for whatever they want for the whole so, school. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. And how much money have you raised in the past? Do you have any figures? Do you number like last year? Did you have a total or what? Well, since two thousand and two, mm -hmm. we've raised how much? Uh, One hundred and seventy. <gasps> yeah. In change. In Just change. In change. That's a truckload. So last. One hundred and seventy thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And last year, I believe we were around seven thousand. Okay, so we gotta do, we gotta beat seven thousand. Yeah, definitely. Because we all have more change than we yeah, used to. Because things does. are the world is a better place than it was last year, isn't it? I <laughs> think so. My ashtray is full of change. <laughs> really? And so wait, when is this all happening? When is the when is it, when does it start? Or has it already started? Well, the month of February is change. Hey, that was you were just on camera there. You Laura, we just saw you. <laughs> um, sorry, what? So change for change is really the month of February. We are rolling on uh, March the second. Ooh, so we're down to we're yeah, down to the wire here. Yeah. Donate today. Visit your local TD and help kids be kids. So if you're going to the bank, yeah, bring even some if you're not, change. if you're going anywhere where there's a TD, yeah, and where are there? Here's a good one. Can you tell us our TD locations in Sault Ste. Marie in case we're in the neighborhood and we happen to have a Toonie or some Loonies or some yeah. change kicking around? So we have one at the Cambrian Mall. That's and yours. Yes. And the other location is our Station Tower location. Station Tower. Yeah. Right. So if you're down by the yeah. Station Mall, just run across the street and stop exactly. it and some give, money. Them, give you some money. Give you some does money. money stay, do, do, do the funds raised locally stay locally or does it go to a big pot for the whole? It does go to Easter Seals, Ontario. Okay. But there is an allotment to the Sioux. Like like every child in Sault Ste. Marie is actually directly, uh, you know, taken care of. Right. Nobody goes without. And the funds go towards so many different things, yeah. whether it is um, accessibility, yeah. wheelchairs. Camps. Oh, the camps, yeah, too? Yeah, they love the camps. They love the camps. They get uh, to actually have freedom and be away from their families. Right. For the first time ever. Beautiful. And also, uh, therapy? Does it help pay for any yeah. kinds of therapies? Yes, yeah. travel. Travel? Uh, yeah, any equipment that they equipment. need. Equipment? Yeah. Um, We've done amazing. sound boards for people with speech. Have you? Yeah. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Okay. Easter Seals, Rotary, TD, Change for Change. Change for Change. You can make a change because we know you've got some in your pockets. So stop by TD and visit Laura Newman or go to the Station Tower location or encourage your kids to go to school with some change. And make a donation yeah, through the definitely. schools. Get your classrooms going. Yes, please. Okay. Listen, hey, always nice to see you, uh, Angie. Nice to see you. You're gonna you're gonna come back on the show and talk about the Easter Seals Telethon. Yes. That will March thirty first. March is Easter Seals month. There we go. We're gonna have you back on next month. All okay. right. And we'll come back to say goodbye with Luann after this quick break. What are we gonna do with those ducks when the ice melts? Guess I called them just I just called them penguins. <laughs> he says, Oh look, the penguins are up. <laughs> Pardon? They're ducks. 
Yes, they're ducks. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> please join us tomorrow because we have an awesome show coming your way once again. It's midweek Wednesday, so that means it's Wellness Wednesday. And he is going to get it together. And he's going to have some awesome guests for you. I will have the news as usual. So please join us then. Have an awesome day. Thanks, thanks for watching. <laughs>